current economic crisis, people have started taking drastic measures in order to survive. Hi, I'm Chris Jenkins. In this case, we look at the fast food junkie and what they're willing to do in order to get their daily dose. Raising the question, what would you do for a Big Mac? Action. Dallas, Texas, July 12th, 2009. A typical hot Texas day. A day that was about to get hotter. It looks as if the man is bringing a homeless man a sandwich. And according to our experts, not just any sandwich, but a chicken sandwich. A sight which made dramatization actors quit their jobs. That's why we can't show you what really happened. Hey, look, I gotta go. I'm in the studio. Okay, ciao. What was the question again? I was going to a lot of fast food restaurants and it just so happens that it seems to be the ones that I went to. And I'm talking like Mickey D's, Wendy's, Jack in a Box. I don't know what it was but something like 75% all had men pleasing other men in the parking lot for burgers. Stoltz, being an artist slash photographer, decided to capture this strange phenomenon on camera. You've become more successful since Mr. Stoltz's exhibit, correct? Now that explains why my jaw is so sore. Do you think that your fast food addiction has led you to another one? Chapstick. I can't lie about that one. I saw Midnight Cowboy once. On acid. These pictures... These pictures that I take right now... are representation of... our current government's economic instability. Guys, suck a dick for hamburgers. What's next? Both parties are satisfied. What's unstable about that? Mr. Stoltz came across a rare find one day, and our cameras were there to catch it. I haven't got it down to complete science yet, but I know for a fact they only come out during the day. Except for the hamburger. Oh shit. It's a hamburger. Let's go. This is a very rare occasion. Quite a treat, actually. I watched a little. What? Watching isn't a crime. Is that all that there is? Oh, no. Holy shit! Holy shit! Um, he was eating my people for McDonald's sake. And he was performing fellatio for them. It was so much easier to catch him whenever he was just stealing. Current statistics have shown an increase of the food amounts that men are trading for oral stimulation. I got a whole combo the other day. We asked witnesses what they thought about when they saw an exchange at their favorite fast food place. We call them fast food cocksuckers. Regardless of, of what happens with my exhibit, I hope that one day people will accept the fast food addicts for who they are and not for what they do in order to quench.
Yo, 